Welcome back. We're into our final segment on the Cindy Laverty Show. Thanks for being with us. If you missed the show, you can hear replays on my blog at crntalk.com or on Saturday at 2 p.m., Sunday at 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on CRN. Okay, Jeannie Kerrigan is my guest, and I have a very little amount of time left with her, which is really <laughs> upsetting to me. Did we finish about Ricky's Revenge? Yes, Ricky's Revenge Nonprofit. Ricky's Revenge Nonprofit.org if you want to help. And there's also a link on your website. And there's right? a link on my website. Okay. All right, so you've been a woman who has been literally to hell and back, and you've mm -hmm. come back better than before, mm -hmm. ever before. Mm -hmm. um, you're of that ilk of where we don't bounce back, we bounce forward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what does it feel like for you today to really walk in the light and to help other people heal? What does that feel like for you? It feels good. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, I've gone from no confidence, you know, uh, you know, e ego rests on a pillar of low self-esteem. You know, I've gone through all that. I, I have, I am what I am. Mm -hmm. Here I am, I am what I am, and my heart is big, and it survived, and I love, I love people. What I think is so incredible about you, though, is that so many people who have been through one teeny tiny portion of what you've been through hide behind that, stay, stay. there, stay stuck, live in that pain, and you know, allow that to run their life. And you are just out there. But telling have, your story. But look, I mean, if I would have stayed angry and resentful and not cared, my father would have died without us putting things, you know, right. back into place. My son would have died and I would not have been able to put things in a place where, where I could live and go on with it. I think that if I live in the lower vibrations of the trauma of it, I will never be okay on this planet. I want it all. I want the best. I want to be as clear and as free within my body as I can so that I can love everybody that's in front of me and I can do something, period, of service. That's the rest of my life is of service. That's, that's just it. great. So who inspires you? My children. <laughs> and easy. you have two children, right? I now have, I have three children living. Yes. My boys, twins are 20 and a 22 year old. They inspire me. Uh -huh. I love them way past the stars, boys. Oprah inspires me. She's just got an incredible amount of power and keeps going and going and going for mm -hmm. people across mm -hmm. the planet. Every time I see a child or children in pain or on the streets, I'm highly inspired. Anytime I see somebody hurting, I'm highly inspired because there they are in all of their black. And mm -hmm. all I got to do is help them polish up the black and find the light and they'll be good. Pain inspires me. That's a kind of a strange way. No, it's not at all. It, it makes perfect sense yeah. for you having sit like, here, polish it all up. From you. Polish it all up. Let's take that pain and let's move it. I'm not going to get caught in your pain. I'm not going to get sucked into your pain. But I'm. But we're going to move it. We can move and shift this pain, this violence on the planet. We can do this mm -hmm. across the board. Incest, rape. We can change it if we open our eyes and see it clearly for what it is. And we just reach out and do something for one person. Absolutely. It starts with one person. Just one. Touch what one. do you want your final message to be today? Love everybody. That sounds so corny. My final message <laughs> is that this book actually is a difficult read. It's a difficult it read. It's painful, but the pain will take you mm -hmm. into a place where you've never been before. At the end of this book, you will not be in the dark. You will be in the light. Jane, and I thanks say thanks for joining me today. You're welcome. It's been so great. I really want people to read your book, Layla. Mm -hmm. I really think you're a champion. Thank you. I think you're a champion. Um, you know, I. we need to bring children into a world that's safe. We need to keep our loved ones close, and we need to be proactive when we see or even when we suspect abuse. Right. We need to reach out and be there for everyone, and we need to stop bullies in their tracks and hold people accountable for their actions. And this is what I know for absolute sure. Um, I hope you all have a great weekend. I'm all out of time today. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cindy Laverty. Until next time, take good care.